Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location, we have Machine starting as the Black Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the Yellow Terran. Thus far, Machine dominating the Grand Finals. This is BSL Season 14. Grand Final Match. And this is potentially the last game right here. As Machine up 3-0 in some very rapid matches up to this stage. Kiko throwing out kind of an, maybe he was hoping an off meta build on Turbine. I do feel like there's something there. I don't know precisely what the timing is or how to move the Vultures out to make that happen, but it feels like something could have happened there. But instead, Machine kind of just going with his standard build and ending it very, very rapidly. This is on Ascension now. And this map, we've seen Kiko play with the drops game one, game two on the four player maps. This is Ascension with three player map drops are extremely strong on this match. So this is, if Kiko wants to go into that dropship style play, maybe a map that's somewhat more favorable for it, particularly getting drops into the main exposed natural expansions, etc. Although I think he might've wanted to be, considering machines spawning at the 12 o'clock location, he might've wanted to be spawning bottom right to make that a little bit more favorable to execute. Overlord making its way to that bottom right hand corner. Barracks on the front of Kiko. Another thing is Kiko's been refusing to build bunkers on his front door and Machine in game two making him pay for it. This time looks like we are seeing an overpool. Bottom right hand, hand Overlord going to confirm scouting there. Drone's going to move out up, uh, to the left hand corner. Kiko going to be scouting counterclockwise. So coming across machine space last, and this time Kiko again going to open mech. I do like that he is shifting his, knowing that in the initial two games, straight up macro standard Terran did not work. I like the decision to go ahead and try something different. And I we have seen machine drop a game to mech here, which was impressive in previous matches. Wanders in. I think that drone got all the scouting information it needs. SV not yet moving to the 12 o'clock location. Is he going to go for proxy factories? Because that's another possibility is proxy factory landed over here. Two marines being produced starting to wander out. Or sorry, two zerglings being produced. Wanting to pressure the front again because of a lack of a SimCity. SV's spot it so a bit of delayed so these zerglings pay for themselves in the delayed mining time and they can just sit out there second half tree coming online gas and a hydralist den for a machine upon recognition of the mech play first factory being produced at this stage with these SCVs and Marines, he could bully his way towards the front to go ahead. He does need to get a natural expansion. And this essentially in mech play versus Zerg, it is a macro race. Right now he's hanging out near that third to potentially delay that. If he can delay that with his SCV, could be a solid situation. Now going for a 1-1-1, potentially. Starport again, maybe gonna try the similar build with a bit of a different flair. Or maybe he wants to go for that dropship again and recognizing that this is on Ascension, which is a stronger dropship map. Maybe he wants to make it happen that way. SCV getting wiped out. Hydralisks being produced. Hydralisk speed there as well, which will help in a defense effort should that be the case. Starport finished. And I'll see, are we seeing the control tower? Or are we seeing the machine shop? Or sorry, the, uh, yep, okay. It's official 111. Wraith wandering out, trying to find some Zerglings to hunt things down. Machine actually wandering out with his troops. Needs to keep something on his front. As this Vulture now looking to wander by. Vulture still, is he going to get a kill? Nope, gets wiped out. And now Machine might be able to bust Kiko. 
moving up a lot of Hydralis towards that natural expansion, at the very least going to be able to deny that, a bunker being built. I don't know that Kiko has sufficient defenses to repel all of this. Wraith does not have cloak, they are paper airplanes. Taking a bit of damage there. The Hydro is now pushing up one Marine down. SCV is getting wiped out, but upon that bunker finishing, the rest of the Hydro is going to go ahead and back off. They can still group attack and take out SCVs, but the Wraith at least going to pin some additional Hydralisks to the front. Lair being finished. No defenses currently back at the main to deal with the Wraith as of yet. I think I missed a Hydralisk or a Zergling getting out of control, going ahead and testing that front door. So now Kiko building siege tanks, sealed up in his base. At an economic deficit, things are not looking good. Layer's going to finish. Lurker range being finished. And I'm wondering if this is going to be tech to Lurker here. Once range is finished and just basically a contained situation from there. Wraith very damaged, able to get scouting information, trying to get back to the main. Not quite able to do so. Siege tech now being researched. Two siege tanks out. And I'm wondering if Kiko, as a follow-up, maybe just wants to unload this barracks and go for kind of a off-time mid-game timing push with siege tech. Hydro's gonna go ahead and back off towards that natural expansion. Second gas being tacked down. Spire being built. Wraith just making sure a third base hasn't been taken at these exterior locations yet. Machine going ahead and grabbing his third at that nearby high ground. Very assailable from that northern corridor. Kiko still has not taken his natural. Waiting on that science vessel. Siege check is now finished. Plus one weapons on the way. Keep in mind these marines are not going to have range because of the lack of academy. They're not going to have stim either. Should there be an attempted push. Kiko does have a supply lead right now. Spire finish. Mutalisk is now taking the air. But I gotta assume Kiko's gonna go for some sort of bust attempt because he's made no motions for his natural expansion. And taking his natural at this stage, this feels like he'd still be playing from the back foot and very much behind. Irradiate being researched. Just a single Zergling here at the natural. And Machine already has that third. Mutalisks are taking the field here, but fortunately for Kiko, it might have an Irradiate just waiting for them. Kind of an odd build. Additional barracks being plopped down, so Kiko looking to transition back towards the Medic Marine Force. However, with just the one base financial support, Turret gets taken out to the north. Irradiate dropped. Not the best of splits. But the mule is diving back in. Able to get some additional kills. Well played by Machine. And this is just looking... Almost like a lazy victory for him. Still able to get additional marine kills with these mutalisks as he's able to peel it out. Gonna take that turret out as well. Now Kiko just doesn't have sufficient anti-air. Maybe when a, an additional science vessel comes out, it'll still be a little while before it's going to have energy for an additional radiate. So these mutalists getting bonus damage as machine's economy continuing to grow. More mutalists now joining the fray. Maybe just looking for a kill blow with mutalists, which probably could get it done here. Kiko's base breached, and this is looking dire for game four for Kiko. Still hasn't grabbed his natural. If he's going to go for a push now, definitely doesn't have sufficient attack forces. And Hydralisk streaming forward. Lurker tech about halfway finished. Plus one carapace also on the way. Machine smells blood. Continuing to take out turrets. Still finding no natural expansion. 
is finding a siege tank. Yeah, gonna go ahead and back up from there. Honestly, seeing that siege tank, I think he should feel comfortable just making his way towards hive tech. Doesn't need to press the issue. Kiko without a natural, that, that's his three base versus one base Terran, so big economic lead. Plus, Kiko's still not in a position to press. All those medics and marines being expended earlier. So Kiko shelled up, just gonna try to survive the match at this stage. Plus one weapons, about a third the way finished. Or sorry, plus two weapons, about a third the way finished. Dropping a compsat. Not sure at what, what location was that. Maybe towards his natural to see if he can even take that. Lurker's being morphed here. So potentially lurkers could dive and again prevent that natural expansion from being built. Additional hatcheries being placed for a machine. I think the I miss Mulesks diving in and taking out that Yeah, pushing in and going ahead and taking out that supply depot, which put Kiko in the red briefly. So insult to injury. And yeah, machine can just do what he does. Macro from here. He's got the supply lead. He's got nearly has a worker lead. In a very comfortable spot. And Kiko's just now moving out to get troops into his natural expansion. Looks like he is grouping up with the science vessels, medic marines, and siege tanks to go for an assault, actually pressing up even to his third to go ahead and clear things out. Is he just going to try to double expand behind this? Lurkers overhead damaging those science vessels. Science vessels actually getting completely wiped out. Lurkers underneath pressing the rest of the medics and tanks back. One of the siege tanks getting going the wrong direction and just getting obliterated. And so now where Kiko was just in a position to finally grab his natural expansion, instead, lurkers are burrowing into his natural. And he's going to lose what few troops he had. Nearly, yeah, you got eight lurkers hanging out now at the natural expansion. Still trying to pump out of three barracks and he just cannot keep up with the economic output of Machine at this stage. Machine grabbing a fourth base in the upper right-hand corner. Single SCV wandering out. It's gonna get wiped out by these Mutalisks. Zerlings flooding bottom left. Looking for movement towards Hive. There's the Queen's Nest. And Machine now toying with his prey. Kiko finally getting another Science Vessel out to maybe start assailing these lurkers but as that is happening more mutalisks and zerglings are coming up to support as long as well as some hydralisks and machine can easily yeah, just unburrow make his way back out double evolution chamber behind this versus just the single engineering bay and kiko finally at the 13 minute mark Looks like he's wandering into his natural expansion to potentially go ahead and grab his third machine. Doesn't, isn't even going to let him have that. Pushing in with the lurkers. Science vessel. Looks like it's going to get barely going to survive. An additional radiate drop, but it looks like it landed on a lurker, which is going to burrow. A dropship produced as kind of a desperation attempt behind this. I don't know that that's going to accomplish all that much, because even if it drops an additional... Even if it drops one of these expansions, Machine can just transfer troops to an additional base. I should say drones to one of these additional bases and he's he'll be in fine position. Hive tech about halfway finished. Dropship migrating out. Looks like, yeah, able to comp sap, but there's also a sunken colony here. Looks like upon seeing that, it's going to reposition and potentially drop in the main. This is going to be ha this is going to have to be a miracle drop right here. In the meantime, machine grouping up a lot of troops to potentially bust that front. Command center being built preventatively on the front, so the drop lands in the main. Maybe you can slow down Hive Tech. We'll see. Hive just finishing. Machine sees it instantly. Hydralisks making their way towards that back corner. Spire 
gonna get taken out machine going for the counterattack, moving lurkers up on seeing those troops split out saying okay if you got troops dedicated up here that means i can just go ahead and push in because you don't have enough troops to stop me at both locations group prepare on that northern siege tank not sufficient and now Kiko's base breached. The Medic Marines cleaned up by the Hydralis. GG's. Machine is this season's BSL 14 Hustle League champ. In a convincing 4-0 victory over Kiko. Hope to see Kiko next season, but... Imagine confetti and fireworks and explosions. Congratulations, Machine. Well deserved. Thank you, everybody. I wish I had a list of the subscribers right now. I can say skin crawler and uh, minions off the top of my head. I think Optimator out there. Special thanks to everybody. I think Robert, a new donator on Patreon. Thank you guys. The financial support makes doing it worthwhile. Another, le another season of Hostile League in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.